What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about flying research. So if you guys don't know, flying research is a software uh, that helps you research to find different merch topics, different merch, uh, different merch designs, different things that could spark your interest. Now the cool thing about today's video is I'm going to be showing you guys the free level, the free access to the tool. I know I've been talking about a lot of paid tools and I'm a paid tool junkie because I truly believe that you get what you pay for. In this case, you're getting some free value here with this software. I think everybody should shine, sign up for it. I'll leave in the link in the description. Let's go ahead and hop on to flying research here and let's take a look at what different ideas we can think of when creating different merch ideas. So here, there are two buttons here called best sellers and get inspired POD. This best seller section shows the merch by Amazon best sellers. I could always click on one of these type of uh, links and it will show me where the link is. So I can click for example on this and it will show me the product in Amazon. You could see here uh, it shows up. Now the cool thing about this uh, you know flying research application here is that this product could give you guys lots of ideas on what designs to create right so for example we can look at this here and we can click on it and this might be something that we would want as an idea to create for a new piece of merch right and we could read the quote and this quote you know it's obviously in a different language here but it can create different motivations to do other things maybe we can look at the type of font we can look at the design we can even look at the colors of the design to kind of spike our interest for other products so let's go ahead and take a look here as well on all these different products we have a vintage 1981 product right something like this is when i see stuff like this i can create something similar to this right but instead of 1981, I could do this for every year of the book, right? 1982, 1983, 1989, 1997, 1998, 2000, 2002, 2004, and so on, right? And instead of vintage, I could like switch up the word. I could write since 1981, since 2005, since, you know, whatever. And that will represent like kind of the date uh, of the birth here. Um, you know, these are just clever different ways to find different ideas of things that are selling on merch but guess what if something's selling positively on merch we can assume that there might be some level of demand even though it might not be the same demand some level of demand on Redbubble as well so if you don't have a merch by Amazon account it's okay you could still use this um, tool here to give you some knowledge on what's selling uh, you know in copious amounts on Amazon but just because it's selling on Amazon doesn't mean it won't sell anywhere else. Like you could see here this shirt of a basketball with all these colors on it. Well, you can get creative and create a basketball shirt with tie-dye colors on it, right? Like a tie-dye type of format. You know, just different ways to create. And you can post those designs on different platforms. Redbubble is not the only platform out there. You have TeePublic, you have Zazzle, you have, uh, you know, Teespring. I mean, all the different platforms out there. Even if you're doing a uh, design that's uh, for your store, for your website, right? Not even Redbubble or Merch. Something that's, you know, that you're controlling, that you have full control over, like a Wix or a Shopify or something like that, right? pretty cool, right? So you can find different things that gain people's attention. Now, as the free user, you can't access this section here, right? Like I can't click on anything here. I can click on advanced options, but that won't really give me any functionality, but that's okay because we're talking about something for free here, free value, right? You could here, click on here, get inspired POD, right? You guys see this link, click on it. And here's some different ideas to also, well, get you inspired. And this is stuff now on Redbubble, which is pretty interesting. Now, I'm not saying that this stuff is best-selling, but it is like an inspirational page. If you're having some creative block that you can't think of different design ideas, you can hop onto this uh, platform here and you can get all the creative designs that you need to go ahead and get started. So for example, this picture of this, uh, I guess a chipmunk, with a uh, lab right coat I can click on it and I can take a look at it and I could say all right I can create something similar to this right that right here 
I can look at the tags, right? Hamster, I, I said chipmunk, but same thing. You know, we can look at this and kind of analyze some of the information here. And we could see, you know, how interesting it is. And it will create ideas for us if we're ever thinking of like, okay, I want to create some designs. I just don't know what to create. That's kind of one of the most important things is that a lot of us, when we get this sort of creative block, we just give up and we walk away from creating designs. The thing that I'll say is if you're going to be designing and you're going to stick to uh, Redbubble or Merch Bams or any of these other platforms and you're focused on making, generating some passive income, what you really want to do is you want to stay consistent. The, the thing is, you don't want to have to, you know, be, uh, you know, very hyperactive every single day with your work. You want to stay consistent with your work. A lot of people expect to, to break leaps and bounds overnight. I always say consistency matters. So if you know for a fact that you're only going to be doing 10 designs that day or 20 designs that day, that's better than doing it every day than doing 50 designs one day and then doing none the next because you want to get into a habit of just constantly creating right even if it's low in the beginning you can always work on improving yourself and setting the bar higher but i just figured i'd share this video for this tool flying research uh they're a big big tool in our industry of merch by amazon uh print on demand Redbubble, all these different things and uh at the end of the day it's free so go ahead and get access to it here we have this brands button which we could literally see different brands on, um, on uh, you know, Merch by Amazon and things like that. But uh, this is, once again, maybe just an idea. Maybe you could create your own brand even. You never know what, what you could do with some creativity and hard work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want like a full tutorial of this tool, the paid tool at least, uh, hit me up in the comments down below. I I'm, I'm not afraid to uh, make videos around it. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested in getting this free access. And uh, yeah, if you guys have questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.